It's, it's very special, and I mean, the biggest thing is, the reason why it's special is because I have the opportunity to place my name in the same category as Deion Sanders and Terrell Buckley, and I mean, as a young player, I couldn't ask for anything more than to be placed in the category with those two great icons. You're talking about an award for the best DB in college football. You're already finalist, finalist for the Nagurski Trophy. You went into the season with so many goals that you wanted to lead the team in sacks. I remember you telling me, I'm going to lead the team in sacks, and you're doing that. How special is not only what's been going on, but really backing up what you said you wanted to do? It's very it's very special. And I mean, I expected this. I mean, if it was two commitments I made coming into the season, it was under God, and he said, if you under him, he under you with all your heart's desires. And it was being being able to be coachable. Uh, trust in what we have here and I was successful with doing the both and the outcome is coming out and I mean these are some things that I expect. Obviously a lot of football left starting first and foremost with that, with that team two hours south of here. This game does it need an introduction is this something you've looked forward to for a while? Hey it's all business. Uh, we're gonna go about our business the way we've been doing it this entire season one week at a time and it's about the bigger picture. I mean they're just another stone in the road we have to remove. I mean Respects to them. I take my head off to them. They got some great talent, great coaches over there, but it's about us, and we, we, we it's all business. Is this a game where you really just kind of throw the record books? They're th excuse, excuse me, throw the records out the window. It's not, it doesn't really matter. Oh, they might be four and seven. Their whole team might be hurt. You can't really look at that. You can't. Absolutely not, because I mean, their record don't don't explain the talent that they have and the good coaching they have and the pride that they have. They have pride too. That's the University of Florida, and I mean, those guys are gonna play us tough. And we, just, we, we owe them the same respect to come play with our A game. So it's, it's, it's a must that we don't overlook this team and play them like as if it's a championship. They, they have had a lot of injuries, but still Patton is a great playmaker. Mac Brown in the backfield. A lot, there, there are a few guys that can really, if you're not careful, you're not, like you said all season, if you're not on your keys, they can really exploit that and take advantage of it. They have the same kind of players as FSU. I mean, five stars, four stars, talent role in that university year in, year out. So they have guys on the back end of that depth chart. If one guy go down, they have someone who can come in and fill those shoes. So we have to be accountable all the way. We prepare, like Coach Fisher says, about the power of preparation. That's what we got to do, and we got to get ready for a tough football game. You'll have two more games, of course, after Florida, but what would it mean to finish the regular season undefeated? First team in a long time to do that here. It will mean so much. It, it, it'll, be, it'll mean so much due to the fact that it's about the bigger picture. I mean, what we want to do around here. Uh, it ain't no secret. You know, we, we want to get that dance, that, that national championship, and we also – we have to just continue to go about our business, like I said earlier, the same way. And um, they're, they're another obstacle in the road, and we have to remove it. Now, you were one of the guys that had to make a decision to come back this year, and you, you did. What, what does it mean to be so successful in this season, and, and are you glad you decided to stay? It means a lot. I mean, I done been, been here for almost four seasons now, and uh, I've been through a lot. And to see us having this success, I feel as though this organization deserved it. We have a bunch of great character kids, great character coaches, and people that support this uh, university. And uh, it's, it's just great and special to see us having this, the year we're having. You're also a player that has moved a position. Um, are you happy with that move, and are you glad that you suggested it? Um, I'm very happy with it. I mean, this is a position that I have played early, early on in my career. And I was fortunate enough to get another year to come back and show my um, skills there. And um, I'm having fun with it. And last thing, we're actually doing a Thanksgiving special this week. Um, so what's, what are you most thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'm thankful for this FSU family, my football, my teammates, and everyone who support this university. Right. How does it feel to be undefeated in the ACC regular season and at home since 2000? It feels good. I mean, this is something that I really don't pay attention to because if if you prepare the right way, then these are the things that come come to you. So I mean, it feels good to know that though. It's a, it's an honor. We're doing a story on the highlights of the overall season. So, what's your favorite moment so far? <laughs> um, I don't really have a favorite moment. There's so many things that go on out there. So many guys making plays. I mean, it's just a lot of special things that have been happening this year. So this year, just in general, has has been a highlight to me.